Hello, it's Dr. Clark here, and very, very quick little tutorial this one on calibrating data. It's often something that we have to do on a regular basis within a lab chart, and often something that we forget. Uh, so here are two traces. There's a trace of um, some CO2 measurements from a Servomex, and a trace from an O2 measurement from a Servomex, where we've exchanged uh, gases. We've got here a marker saying room air, so that's 0.03% CO2, 21% O2, or 20.9% if we're going to be precise. And then over here we've uh, we've gassed the Servomex um, with a mixed gas of 4.5% CO2, 5% O2. You can see why this is so important to have these um, notes, comments, in the recording when you do it because of course if I hadn't made these comments I would never clue how these data are supposed to be calibrated you can see here the units are currently in volts um, so to calibrate uh, for instance here the CO2 we've got two points 0 0.03 which is this lower area and uh, up here we've got four and a half percent CO2 so I can select this whole area and from the drop down menu choose unit conversion this brings up this very simple uh, dialog box. We've got a choice between a point in difference or a two-point calibration. Most of the time it's going to be a two-point calibration. I'm just going to zoom in so I can actually see my volts a little bit clearer. There we are. Um, so we know that this point here, this uh, horizontal line, is 0% CO2. And this line up here is 4.5% CO2. So I can select this line at the bottom here and at point 0.1 click on a button and it measures the volts. Okay. Then I can highlight the top area, click on the next arrow and it measures the volts. And you can clearly here see, see that 0 0.04 volts is the same as 0.03% CO2 and up here 0 0.5 volts is equivalent to 4.5% uh, CO2. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to choose the decimal places to be uh, 1, simply because I, I don't want to be uh, silly about the decimal places. Um, we can choose the units as percent CO2, it's one of the default settings in a lab chart. I can press preview just to make sure everything's looking good, then press OK. And now we hold our mouse, it's on the top here we can see zero. Let's just bring that to the DVM window and let's bring that as well. You can see here it says 0 0.03 and up here it says 4.49, 4.51, 4.5. So we're happy we've calibrated the CO2. Let's just do the same with the O2. We know this is 20.9 and we know this is 5. So we can highlight all of that. We can go to unit conversion. It's just off the top of the screen there. Um, and we can zoom in, select this and this is going to be 20.9% uh, select this this is our lower value which is 5% choose O2 from the menu so we've got the upper point which is the highest percentage of O2 is 20.9 and the lower point which is the lowest percentage of, CO, of O2 sorry, is 5% O2 which is those voltages again one decimal place press OK hold our mouse 20.95 okay so we now know that our CO2 and our O2 data are calibrated um, we leave these calibrations at the start of our file and we carry on the experiment